time has come for NSN IM to take it or leave it. RPP accuses two firms of withdrawing 65.67 crore without completing work. NPF will not side with any group on Nagaland political issue. Power outage in Dimapur till May 27. News in details. Time has come for NSN IM to take it or leave it. The leader of Naga political friend legislative party, Guzelazo Nenu, on Tuesday said the core committee of the parliamentary committee on Naga political issue will have a meeting on Wednesday after which they might sit with the leaders of NSN IM. Nenu, who is also the co-chairman of United Democratic Alliance, opined that the committee will have to tell the NSN IM frankly during the meeting that time has come for whether to take it or leave it. Sharing his opinion during an interaction with journalists on Tuesday, the NPF legislator said the NSN IM went wrong the moment they signed the framework agreement, which sealed their fate, maintaining that the framework agreement was within the framework of Indian constitution. He said, is that the case? Integration is ruled out, sovereignty is ruled out, flag and constitution is ruled out. RPP accuses two firms of withdrawing 65.67 crore without completing work. The Rising People Party has accused Rhino Construction and Agency, Nagaland Steel Engineering Works of fraudulently withdrawing more than 65.67 crore for two road projects without doing any work. This was claimed by the president of RPP, Joel Naga, at a press conference in Dimapur on Tuesday. Joel said that a total of rupees 65 crore sanctioned against two work orders, namely Akan to Star Lake, on April 11, 2011, amounting to rupees 569 lakh, and Lepfuri to Molhe Post. 26 km are in complete violation of the terms and condition laid down as per the order issued on date April 11, 2011 and November 20, 2011 respectively. NPF will not side with any group on Naga political issues, says party chief. Dr. Zorozile Lejitsu, president of Naga People's Friend, said that the party is firm on its political stand on Naga political issue since its inception. In a statement issued on Tuesday, Dr. Lejitsu stated that many treated Naga issue as a law and order problem and tried to suppress the movement using various methods by different agencies. When the 16-point memorandum was signed by the government of India with the group, which was playing the role of mediation, leaving aside the main conflicting group for whom the agreement was proposed. The 16-point memorandum completely failed to stop the bloodshed, but it brought more bloodshed to the land. Power outage in Dimapur till May 27. Power Department Dimapur Electrical Division has informed that there will be power outage in several areas under Dimapur Subdivision 2 from May 25. This has been necessitated due to power shutdown of 11 kb feeders for construction of 33 kb line under Northeastern Region Power System Improvement Project. That's all for now to get the status news. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.